What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword walkthrough. Okay! Yes, it's 2022, and we are playing Pokemon Sword again, and only Pokemon Sword. Now, for those who are new, welcome to Pokemon Sword. Why? Uh, it's very simple, guys. I am a perfectionist, and I kind of want to do this right, so uh, that's exactly what we're going to be doing right here. Uh, throughout the episode, like, throughout the whole adventure, guys, you're gonna, you guys are going to be hearing, you know, a few stories about what's been going on in all that crud. So, let's just continue our adventure and make it fun right here. So, in our last episode, we actually got ourselves our very first Pokemon, and that Pokemon happens to be good old Bex right here. Look at that. Bex, the Fire-type Pokemon, and, well, let's go ahead and take a look at the summary. As you can see, Score Bunny, Fire type Pokemon, pretty good. Hmm, what is its nature? I want to know what its nature is. Uh, well, its ability is Blaze, obviously, and it doesn't look good right here because, well, let's see, where is it? Where is its nature? I can't even find it. Huh? Maybe if we go right here, it is a bold nature. Good gravy. Okay, so yes, its attack is not going to be good, but its defense is going to be right there. Anywho, in the next episode, or in the next <laughs> adventure, we gotta go to my mama, and well, there is a big old crash, and well, Hop's like, Draven, did you hear that just now? Uh-oh, something happened. That gate's open! And the Wooloo that was there? Uh-oh. 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 Yeah, that can't be good. It was tackling the fence pretty hard earlier. You don't think it actually broke through there? Do you? Hmm. But it's off limits. Nobody's supposed to go in there. I remember the professor's granddaughter went in there, went in once, and she came back in a real state. And that was nothing compared to the earful she got from the professor afterward. Draven, what do you say? Uh, well, you know me. We gotta go after it because we are the heroes, and this is exactly what heroes do, right? Even if we're not supposed to, uh, supposed to, this is the kind of scene where you simply just have to do what's needed. Okay. Hope you're ready to for anything, because we're going in, Draven. Yeah, we're going in. And, well... Oh my god. Yeah, we, 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 we definitely have to go in there. And, well... Let's uh, move out of the way right here and go into the slumbering weald. Weld? Or, I don't know, weald? Yes. Look at this. It's a nice, nice uh, area right here. Like, there's fog. And, wow, that Wulu. What do you think it's gone off to? It's gone off somewhere. I don't know. Somewhere. The fog is really coming in thick. If you we, if we don't find that Pokemon soon, this might be trouble. That, that, that is true. That is so true. So, that is exactly what we're going to be doing right here is finding Wooloo. And would you look at that, guys? Our very first Pokemon, wild Pokemon battle, and it's a Squobit. Squobit. As we all know, it is a greedy Pokemon because it likes its nuts, berries, and anything, you know, with high fiber and all that crud. And, well, Squovit's getting uh, getting beat right there, but Squovit won't back down, so let's go again with another Fire-type attack. Ember for the win. Look at that, Squovit defeated. Okay, so yes, we're going to get some experience points. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, we can't capture Pokemon just yet because we don't have any kind of Pokeballs. But we have to follow this dude. And look at this. Like, this place is like... I, I failed to say this in my last walkthrough right here. This, like, the surroundings right here is just... A, it, it's breathtaking because I like the graphics and everything right here, guys. So, yeah. That's uh, that's just one of the comments that I, I have for this game. Um, as many of you guys already know, the newer walkthroughs are going to be... Or the newer um, games are going to be coming out pretty soon. And would you look at that? A rookie game. Wookie D, that's a pretty good name right there. And well, it's got its a nerve, and it's gonna take berries away. So let's go straight for a tackle attack. Now, anywho, while we're beating up on Wookie D and that peg attack, here's another thing too. I am using my gaming computer alongside the Elgato H60S Plus. That is a capture card that I have never used before, guys. Uh, many of you guys would know, and from watching the walkthrough videos, that you know there was a little bit of error here and there on my last capture card. And well, at the start of the year, you guys probably already seen that I've been, you know, investing in myself. I got, I got myself a, a studio, which I'm in. I got new equipment. It, it's all coming together, and it's all for the sheer entertainment of this right here, guys. And well, let's see. 
We're gonna be moving on, and we hear something right there off into the distance. Did you hear that? Was that a Pokemon crying out, you think? Probably. I don't know. Let's go find some more Pokemon to battle. I don't know. And, yes. I guess these are mandatory battles. I don't know. They kind of are mandatory battles. So, let's go right ahead and battle Squovit right here. Now, what? like I was saying, guys. Uh, man, I, I am uh, thoroughly impressed with the computer that I'm using now. The gaming computer. Can't... I can't stress it enough because, you know, I've always wanted better content right here on my channel, and I kind of, I, I, I kind of felt a little, uh, kind of felt a little bad for kind of rushing through Pokemon Sword and Shield in the last episode, let alone doing both Pokemon Sword and Shield when I didn't really need to. Kind of needed to pick one, and everything was the same. Yeah, kind of felt bad, but here we are, fresh chance, new graphics edited all the way you guys are getting everything uh you guys are getting treated to something pretty dang good right here and well here's hoppy's like come on draven that will might be a real trouble hmm it might be a real trouble okay and he's off in the fog just like batman okay so where are we going and the fog is thicker than uh you guys already know where i'm going with this but i'm not gonna say it okay and wow wow holy crud Holy crud, okay, and well, here we are in an area where we don't know where we're at. This is mad. I can't even see my own front face. I think I get, uh, I think I get now why this place is off limits. Whoa. Hi there. <laughs> That's a big dog. That is a big doggy with one ear. That is not good. That is a big ass doggy. Holy bajeebus. What in the... Lord! Yeah, that's a big wolfy. And well, we get put into an impromptu battle with a question mark, question mark, question mark. And here's the messed up part about this Pokemon because, well, you don't know what its level is. You don't know what its name is, which is great. And here's the other messed up part, too. You try and uh, hit this Pokemon with any attack, it's got Ultra Instinct on it. And, uh, yeah, it's no effect. And, uh, yeah, he's got a, yeah, he's got a fixed gaze. And what, wait, 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 what move has no effect on it? Okay, well, let's see. You know what? Let's go with the tackle attack. I've never tried a physical attack, and, well, nope. <laughs> It's almost like this guy was a ghost, and whoa! Where's the defog where you need one? Seriously. Uh-oh. Draven, I can't see anything! You okay? Uh... <laughs> Let's go with the growl attack. See if that works. Growl attack. And that does not work. And, wow, it is throwing out more fog, and unfortunately for us, we can't see anything. Holy... I can't see anything! And, uh, well, let's see. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, it's, we're disappearing. Oh. So I guess we just white out. <laughs> well. If there was any other example of being uh, whited out, it was that. Well, Leon. Well, Leon. He's like, Hop! Draven! Oh, there's a. Uh, well, he's not so Batman. What, Lee? How'd you manage to find your way here? Your pants with uh, directions. You always get lost. Oh, that's nice to hear from my little brother who had me all worried sick. I've been waiting for ages for you two and you never showed. Of course, I came along for the both of you. Wait, where, where's the Wooloo? We were trying to rescue the Wooloo! You mean that Wooloo? <laughs> Charizard looked like it's about to eat it. That little chap's just fine. Though all you had, or all of you fainted by the time I found you here. You know, this place is uh, out of bounds. But it took courage to come here all, all the same, and I can understand well enough why you did it. You did good, huh? 
And at least that woo was all right. Yeah, Draven? I thought we had it when, when that weird fog started rolling in and that mad Pokemon attacked. But at least it wasn't all for nothing. Attacked by some mad Pokemon? What are you talking about, Hop? It seemed loads stronger than any Pokemon I've ever seen, and it's just sort of a, uh, it just had a sort of a presence. Our moves didn't even touch it. I mean, really, they didn't see it. They, they seemed to pass through it. Your moves passed right through it. So the fearsome Pokemon they say live in the slumbering wilds. Are they actually illusions or something? Get strong enough and maybe you two could uh, be the ones to reveal the truth someday. For now, let's simply get out of this place. You'll be all right now that I'm here with you. And yeah, he's trying to turn into Super Saiyan, but not really. You know, even if we did get an earful from Lee, what an experience this is. This there, uh, this will make a pretty fine first page in the, uh, the tale of my legend. Yeah, he's talking about his legend and it's, uh, yeah, it's not much of a legend. Well, here we are back home and he's like, don't forget to tell your mom we're off to Witchers now. She'll go and spare if you leave without a without a word, even worse than Lee did just did. Hmm. Okay. Alrighty. Anywho, guys, that right there completes our second episode. Yes, I get it. It's small. It's tiny. But we're just getting the nitty gritty out of the way. Okay? Can you blame me? So in the next episode, we are gonna be uh, going straight to Wedgehurst, continuing on our adventure right here in Pokemon Shield. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode as well as the last one. Yes, this summer is going to be fun, and now that you guys are, well, some of you guys are out of school, you know, watching the, this video and all that stuff, I hope you enjoyed all, or enjoy all the walkthroughs that I have right here to cover. So, thank you guys again, uh, make sure to hit the subscribe button, notifications button, if you guys want to make a small donation, links down in the description. I will see you guys again for another episode of Pokemon Sword. See you guys.